When talking about laptops, especially before these gaming laptops came about, they're usually just toned down versions of desktops with just the right amount of power and features to allow you to accomplish tasks wherever you go. Now the key word there is toned down, but what we have right here is the Asus ROG Zephyrus S17 that aims to blur the line between having a great and powerful desktop and combining that with the portability of a laptop. It's got some of the best components underneath the hood. A funky mechanical keyboard that tilts up and an industry standard 4K display to better enjoy visuals. It's targeted to be best for gamers and creatives and after spending more than a month with it, the laptop and I have been acquainted. Now the question is, did it deliver? Hey guys, Kevin here, you're with the Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. This is our Asus ROG Zephyrus S17 review. Let's begin with what's most obvious. The Asus ROG Zephyrus S17 is on the big side. This isn't your notebook sized laptop and it's understandable. It packs undeniable power and loads of features. At more than 2.5 kilos, it's also a bit heavy but once closed still appears slim enough that you can carry around and set up in a coffee shop for example. It has an all-metal body made of magnesium aluminum, so it feels very durable. Looking at the details, we see what the company calls dot inside pattern that blends well with its diamond cut edges and laser polished accents. As a laptop in the Zephyrus line and with its list of specs, this could easily be a gamer's portable rig. But the design with its black and sleek appearance also has that formal and executive touch. Moving on, it brings a lot of elements from a desktop setup into this portable package like a keyboard with mechanical switches. I found it nice to type on but this might be because I'm already using a mechanical keyboard to begin with. Of course, it has that clicky sound when you type but not the loudest I've heard. Asus also made it to be a per-key RGB, meaning each key is independent and can easily be programmed for better customization. We'll talk more about this and the company's Aura Sync in just a bit. Additionally, the entire keyboard lifts up when you open the lid and apart from providing better ergonomics with its angled typing, it also allows better air circulation to cool down the laptop. Kind of like the ergo lift mechanism from the Zenbook line that we reviewed in the past. And spotted on the upper left side of its chassis is what the company calls multi-wheel which is basically a wheel that you can program for easier navigation. You can set it as a toggle for volume, scrolling pages, display brightness, keyboard backlight and more. It's a convenient way of tweaking your laptop settings on the fly and I usually program it as a way to control audio volume which worked great for my experience. There's also a decently sized touchpad at the bottom and it provides a good space for navigation although I've been using a wireless mouse during most of the time I spent on this laptop. Meanwhile up here an HD webcam is present which I was able to use for video calls and conferences with good quality and no hiccups. In terms of connectivity and available ports, you have an HDMI port on the left side, LAN, a single USB Type-A, a USB Type-C, and Thunderbolt 4 with support for DisplayPort and charging. On the flip side are two more USB Type-A ports and nothing more. And to just quickly mention, the Zephyrus S17 that Asus Philippines sent us came with other Asus devices and merch which you could also get when you purchase the laptop. Going to its display, it sports a 17.3 inch screen in 4K resolution and 16 is to 9 aspect ratio. This orientation makes it easy for video editing and other creative tasks in addition of course to gaming. For color accuracy, it boasts a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut and is Pantone validated so you're sure the colors it reproduces are faithful and lifelike. True enough, watching on streaming sites or simply playing a nature video is really immersive. Colors pop out and details are crisp. Adding to those, the screen is also anti-glare so excess light doesn't affect your viewing experience. It also comes with adaptive sync to minimize stutters, a 3 millisecond response, and 120Hz refresh rate for responsive and fluid movements, perfect for gaming. For multimedia consumption, Asus didn't stop at just the display but gave specific attention to its audio quality as well. The ROG Zephyrus S17 is equipped with 4 full range speakers with additional 2 tweeters so the audio quality you get comes with more details brought by added definition in its highs. Bass levels are decent but again don't expect anything heart pumping in terms of power. But thanks to its Dolby Atmos audio with smart amp technology, I was able to enjoy playing games, listening to music and even watching TV shows from its loudspeaker and was pretty immersed as well. You definitely don't need to wear headphones every time. 
Lastly, for video calls, it's got a built-in microphone with AI noise cancelling for clearer audio pickup. Software-wise, the Zephyrus S17 runs on Windows 10 Home out of the box and is loaded with your usual apps for antivirus and the likes. After some time though, a notification to update to Windows 11 came up and from then, I've been enjoying its new layout, features, and improvements. It also comes pre-installed with the company's MyAsus software, Armor Create and Aura Creator. We've talked about my Asus in our previous videos and it basically integrates your mobile devices with an Asus PC to improve multitasking and transferring of files. Armor Create is also something we've seen before and basically shows necessary info about your laptop and achieves better performance. Here you see the CPU and GPU usage, temperature in case you're overclocking, fan speeds, and more. You can also switch between performance modes here depending on what you're doing but cycling between these modes is also possible using its shortcut key. And as mentioned earlier, it also supports the company's Aura Sync, which lets you sync lights from different devices that support said feature. So if you have headphones, a gaming mouse, and other devices that support this feature, they can all be synced together and have a unified lighting behavior. Overall, the laptop is preloaded with the usual software to help you achieve the right settings and tweak them based on your task at hand. For example, if I were outside to just browse the internet and write articles, I can go for silent profile. But if I'm at home editing videos or playing games, performance mode is definitely the way to go. Underneath the hood is where it gets more exciting as it carries some of the best components available today. An Intel Core i9 processor runs the show and is partnered with two 16GB RAM for memory and a whopping three 1TB SSD for storage. Crunching graphics power is an NVIDIA RTX 3080 GPU which is more than capable to run today's AAA games while on resolutions beyond Full HD. Together, this was indeed the case when it comes to gaming. We ran Genshin Impact, our go to game to test devices on and it ran at an average of 56 frames per second in 4K resolution. Scaling things down a bit to Quad HD resolution yielded a steady 59 FPS. On the other hand, playing shooter games like Days Gone with maxed out settings at 4K resolution gave 50 FPS during our time. Again, lowering the resolution to QHD raises the frame rate to around 90 FPS. Meanwhile, I also use this laptop for editing videos for the modern creatures and while I only edit full HD clips usually, tossing in some 4K footage into the mix was an easy task for the laptop and even adding motion graphics was also handled very well. Of course, with all that power running inside the chassis, heat is expected. And while the tilting keyboard helps cool things down and have us gaming or editing videos for hours straight, I do feel the left palm rest get warm as time goes on. It doesn't get too hot, but you do feel it get warm, around 7 to 8 to 8 degrees according to the info logged on Armory Crate. In terms of battery, it comes with a 90 watt hour pack that supports fast charging. Asus says it's capable of fast charging that can achieve 50% of battery life in just 30 minutes via this large charging brick. If you left the charging brick, for example, you can still charge the laptop using its Type-C port and it supports up to 100 watts. In real life usage, the Zephyrus S17 was able to last an average of 5 hours consisting mostly of video editing, gaming, and browsing the internet. And as always, the modern creatures aims to find special features and devices that make them worth having. Their creature feature, and for the Asus ROG Zephyrus S17, it would have to be its tilting mechanical keyboard. Yes, you do have really powerful internals under the hood, an immersive 4K display with calibrated colors, but the mechanical keyboard on a laptop isn't something we normally see and it's enough to be a creature feature for us as it became a unique but appreciated feature and an added value. After all, it's not every day you see a laptop with internals, features, and even components of a desktop computer. And of course, having a really powerful machine means it is also going to cost you. The Asus ROG Zephyrus S17 starts at 184,995 pesos and goes all the way to 249,995 pesos depending on the configuration you're getting. But if what you're looking for are desktop specs and features in a compact and portable body, the Zephyrus S17 should definitely be on your list. And that's about it for our Asus ROG Zephyrus S17 review. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.